3DV is a relatively new program. It was uh, it came out in uh, December of uh, last year, and it's a sound card based program. It includes a uh, a modem and the Kodak 2, a low bit Kodak, which is really making it available on HF because it can then operate in a very narrow bandwidth. We operate at 1.2 uh, kilohertz on HF. It has good natural sounding voice. It's easy to set up. All right, here's uh, FreeDV. Um, this is an earlier beta version, and uh, at the lower screen you'll see what looks familiar is uh, QPSK, which is what PSK31 uses, for example. And uh, this is running automatically, so I'm showing also the timing uh, difference between the transmit and receive station. At the top, you can see the spectrum, and there's uh, 16 carriers in there and a center one, which is, uh, provides a sync signal. Back over to the left there is the waterfall. Well, the first place I guess I'd look would be uh, 14236. Uh, we do have a uh, QSO finder. You can log on to uh, qso.k7ve.org and you enter your call sign and you can see who's on the air and what frequency they're on. Plus it has a place for uh, texting so you can talk to the guys that are on there. Set up the QSO and uh, try it out. Okay, CQ Free DV, CQ Free DV, CQ Free DV from N4 DV. This is November 4, Delta Victor calling CQ Free DV, CQ Free DV. Is anyone around that would like to talk on Free DV? This is N4DV at the Lebanon, Missouri ARRL convention. Uh, it's, it's written for Windows, uh, Linux, three distributions of Linux, and it'll also work on, uh, on Mac. Okay, to get started with Free DV, uh, obviously you need the program. You can go to this website, Free DV, HF Digital Voice for Radio Amateurs. The actual sound of uh, digital sounds like this over the air. You can see the peaks in it here. Well, this is what it would sound like if you tuned it across it on the band. Okay. Well, for the setup, uh, it's relatively easy. Again, if you're now running uh, PSK31, then you have the data taken care of from the radio uh, to the input of the computer and then out of the computer back into the radio. So there, there's where you get your data, which is fed into the modem. The modem is also software, and then that runs into the coder-decoder. And the output of that coder-decoder goes back through a sound guard to convert it back to analog so it can listen to it on your speaker.